So yeah, we got her all clean. Now we're going to do some maintenance. So I wanted to do an update on um, the last time. We'll see. We were a couple episodes back on um, Bike Talk. I believe it was episode two of Bike Talk. All right, correction on that. I was wrong. That is going to be Bike Talk episode three. So in Bike Talk episode three, I went ahead and made some adjustments. I fixed a few things that were bother that were not holding up right with uh, the bike build. First thing was the kickstand. So the kickstand used to move a bunch after you have lifted it up and put it down a few times. And I was constantly having to tighten this nut here in the middle because it was con it was getting loose. But after I put these uh, pieces of inner tube here to give it grip, it, it it doesn't move at all. It is as stable as it was the first day that I did this. Um, I don't have any issues with this um, getting off level and having the bike tilt anymore. Not a problem. So that was a wonderful fix. The second fix was right here. It was fixing this here. I, I um, used this uh, piece here to make this rack more stable. This rack basically is not made for this bike, obviously. It's made for an actual electric bike. But I really like the rack because it is it is solid. It's a solid piece of uh Either what is it, aluminum or metal, or either one. It's it's solid and it, it keeps it um, keeps all my wiring safe and worked for my uh, my box saddlebags and you know so this 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 basically this piece worked and I think this is just an old old adapter for a, a light a light bulb or, or not a light bulb but a reflective light or something like that. Either way, um, that worked. So today's maintenance, today's maintenance, I've got about six things on the list today that I need to do. I know for sure that um, the two things that I wanted to do was check the rear rack and the kickstand, so that's two down, four to go. Now I know that I want to go ahead and I need to put air in the rear tire. I need to um, tighten up the seat because ever since I took the seat off the post to fix the rack, the seat has not been as tight as it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten the seat. But one thing about the seat here I'll show you is that it now sits on top of this rack. So when it moves, it's grinding against the metal. I don't think I'm up. Oh, there we go. It now sits on the rack. So when it moves, it's grinding against the metal. So what I'm going to do is either use some inner tube to cushion that. Then again, metal against the metal with the inner tube. It'll just rip it. So the other idea I have is I'm going to take some of this here. This uh, foam padding. I'm going to cover it in this here inner tube and then I'm going to zip tie it onto that and that will definitely give it cushion and it will keep it from um, grinding and moving the way it was. Also I'm going to add these two bags here, these two bags on the side of the saddles, um, just a little extra stuff. Uh, I don't feel like I can ever have enough storage on my bike. so. <laughs> I'm going to add these two bags on there with some zip ties as well. So after we tighten the seat, we're going to uh, check and replace the brakes. It's been a while since I've done that. Been a few months. Looks like my brakes are... I got a little something left on them. But, um... Yeah, I think we can definitely replace these. And I'll take them off and take a look. We'll see. So brakes are in line. And lastly would be we need to make sure all screws are tightened. So, you know, on the road, as things bump around, this thing gets loose a bit. So I got to make sure my light, sorry, this thing gets loose a bit. So I got to make sure my light gets tightened up. 
so we'll, we'll tighten just just look at you know nuts and bolts and make sure things are tight not moving around on the bike so that'll be maintenance for today we'll get to it Not too bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change over the tires. I got a couple of them here. I'm gonna take a tire off this other rim that I'm not using right now. I was planning on buying tires anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and change these tires out, which is good necessarily because these have more traction on them. These are definitely more for uh, riding on trail and. Usually where I'm at is on trail, besides these old beach cruiser tires that definitely aren't right for this bike anyway. It slips a lot as soon as you take off because uh, this is basically made for riding over on sand in a way. And uh, I don't even know if it's for riding on sand. Never use these to ride on sand. But uh, they're definitely not the right tires for this. So I'm just going to change those over. If you'd like to be part of our purpose, mission, and our journey, please consider becoming part of the Electron Rebels Bike Club. You can find links to the club in the description below. Ride easy.